Okay, CBT lesson for Brandon. This is called Beginner Guitar Concepts. This is part two. And um, we are starting on page three in the tabs. And um, this is number five for examples. The things that, you know, each one of these, Brandon is having different things, like I was saying in the other video, that you're going to get out of it. More than one thing, you know, picking, chords. Um, intros for songs or parts of songs and that's what number five consists of actually number five six and seven and uh, yeah a bunch of these examples so um, this one number five is gonna be pinky seventh fret A first finger fourth fret D finger Angles are critical, dude. Um, I remember our lessons on Skype, man. That was something we had to really focus on. So they're going to naturally want to angle downwards, and sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes you can do that. It depends if you need the string underneath. So keep the thumb low. That'll free up these fingers to stretch the way they need to. Okay, so once those two are set, um, we're, here's what we're going to do. Now, I wrote in your tabs to go down, down, up, up, A, D, G, D. And there's double dots, so you're going to repeat it, each group here of four notes. At first, if you want to down pick all this stuff till you get comfortable with it, and then come back and apply the, all, the down, down, up, up, that's fine. Um, you're going to have to take it in stages, because like I said, there's more than one, one thing you can learn off of each example here. So clarity is, is going to be key for this before the picking is really even going to matter. Okay, so A, D, G, D, A, D, G, D. Now, your index finger, we're going to leave it where it is. We're going to remove the pinky, go third finger six on the A. So we're moving that flat a half step, one fret, right? And that's, you're going to do the same strings, A, D, G, D, twice. <laughs> So we have okay remove the third finger put your middle finger to five on the a string first finger stays right where it's at do the same exact thing and then it changes up on this one go first finger four a third finger five d middle finger four g and um fourth finger actually no I think we're gonna be good on that yeah for, for the start yes go a D G D take your pinky put it to the fifth fret G leave everything else down you're just adding a finger so we have and that's gonna go down down up down and then the pinky 5g up down on the D string, lift your pinky off, go up, and then up on 5D. Like I said, you can down pick all of it for now. Memorize, you know, the progression and then apply the downs and ups. Okay, so that's that one. Number six, uh, picking chords could be used for songs. Here's this one. Actually, let's change the fingering here. So there's four shapes in this. This would be in the key of A minor. Go third finger 7D or your fourth finger. Fingering is optional. Everyone's finger length is different. So, um, but I did put it down in case you were completely stuck. I'm gonna go fourth finger. Sometimes I'll use even in that that time around. Uh, maybe the first time I'll use my pinky, and the next time my third. Whatever one you're more comfortable with. For now, stay consistent with it. F uh, fourth finger 7D, first finger 5G. We're gonna go A D G B. E, B, G, D, or if you call the strings numerically, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Leave everything down, put your middle finger on 6A, and do the exact same thing. 
Then first finger, move it up one string to 5D, and use your third or fourth finger on 7G. Just a power chord there. Do the exact same thing again. Then move that whole shape a whole step flat. Remember, a whole step is two frets, flat is lower. So we're, instead of 5-7, we're going to be on 3-5. Do the same thing there. Okay, that's that one. Um, number seven, picking. E minor is our key for this. And this is uh, also in the song-related intros, parts of songs category. It goes like this. Play it first for you. top of page four it's continued um, right here and that's an E minor chord on the end so there's some consistent parts in this once you get through you'll be like yeah it's making sense 14 D third finger 12 G first finger it's like a inverted power chord make sure your finger angles are good Go D, G, skip, and go to E, B. We do that twice. We have double dots there. That means repeat. And I'm going down, down, up, up. That's your concept through most of this. Now move it to middle finger 12 D, first finger 11 G, same thing. Move it over to 10, 9, same strings. Move it over to 9, 7, same strings. Move it over to 7-5, same strings. Move it over to 5-4, and you're going to want to go middle and index probably for this. And then um, 4-D and 2-G. Use your third finger in your first or your fourth finger in first. And this one changes a little bit. This is how we're resolving this little piece. D-G-B-E, B-G. And then lift everything up, middle 3E, first finger 2E, and then first finger 2A, middle finger 2D, and we're going to strum all six of those strings. That's an E minor chord. Um, also, and I think we worked on this one on Skype too, but you want to um, just play it as an arpeggio. That just means one string at a time. You may run into a problem, even you know sometimes with this part of the hand, it may be touching the high E, you may not even feel it. The middle finger may be angling and muting the G, so that's why I like when I'm teaching chords to run through them as an arpeggio or a picked progression, and that'll let me know if there's anything muted in there, and then I can you know, make the adjustments needed to fix it. Okay, so that's our E minor. Um, so like I said, we're on page four now. This is number eight. This is using power chords. Um, amongst some other things, some power chord variations. Uh, palm muting, uh, song concepts, eighth note rhythm. Now eighth notes, music's bro broken into measures. 4-4 four, four or common time is, is the most common. That's why they'll put a C sometimes telling you. You would count to four in the measure. One, two, three, four. Now when you hear the term eighth notes, it's double that and you would count it one and two and three and four and. The quarter notes are the one two, three, four. The eighth note is throwing an and in between it, but the, they're still landing in the same thing. You're not slowing anything down. You're actually doubling one and two and three and four and. That's your pattern for this. And this one, let's put some distortion on. But practice it clean, like I said in uh, part one, to make sure that um, you know everything's clear. Um, so we're gonna end up Doing some power chords, like I said, first finger 7A, and then you need 9 on the D. You can use your third or fourth finger. Now it's okay if this if you're muting some underneath strings, because we're not going to be playing them, and it actually can work to your advantage. If, say, you strum an extra string or two, if it's muted, it's not going to be no big deal. Now, I know how you are, dude, so I know you're kind of really precise with it and, and careful, and that's good. 
but also you want to uh, eventually be where you don't have to worry about it and if you want to hit all the strings all I hit all six strings all I heard was the A and the D string that's because I'm muting the low E and with my index I'm muting the underneath strings um, and my pinky's muting the, the G as well now um, in this we're highlighting some palm muted open strings which will be off the low E and um, let me play it so you can hear it first You can split this into quarters as far as subgrouping because they all are going to have four open E's palm muted and they're all going to have four hits on a power chord or a variation of a power chord. So uh, the 7A, 9D, we're going to palm mute. Remember the palm mute um, it's gotta be, should feel the bridge across right here on your palm. You're going to choke it out if you move your palm up. Check out what happens. You can hear it, but it's choked. Watch what happens when I back it up. If you go too far, then you're not palm muting anymore. So find that comfortable spot for palm muting. I know the music you like, you're gonna wanna get comfortable with palm muting. Four open E's palm muted, and then hit the A and the D string at the same time. Angle that pick and brush over those four times. Repeat it. But we're going to go, instead of 9D, we're going to go 8D with the middle finger. Do the same thing now. Now, I'm only palm muting string 6, the open E. Okay, the second half, I'm not palm muting, so you got to lift your palm up. Alright, not too far. Keep everything close. Um, the next one, first finger 7A, so that stays. Um, fourth finger 10 on the D. Um, but same thing. And then go back to the one you started with, um, 7A, 9D. And then start it over, so you would play it again. That's going to be cycled through twice. Again. And so on, okay? Don't worry about the speed so much. Play it clean, and then start testing yourself to see if you can pick it up but make sure it's clean first um, number nine alternate picking um, power chords songs solos um, 16th notes which are a faster count palm muting uh, it's in common time and this one goes like this so when we counted eighth notes we went one and two and three and four and 16th notes is double that and you would count a 16th note 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a, you still have the same amount of time in there you're just doubling the eighth notes so it's faster which tells us we're going to want to alternate pick if it's too tough at first like I said that's fine you can downstroke but the idea is the goal is to be able to um, alternate pick and palm mute this so it starts the same way as the last one but uh, like I said down up down up when you hit the 7A, 9D, you're going to see uh, it's written once with a down strum. You're going to see a line for a pause or a rest. That, if you're struggling with timing on that, you would go 1E e and a 2E e and a... That would complete the measure. It has to ring for that amount of time. 1E e and a 2E e and a... Okay, the next one is the same thing, but move that chord up to 10, 12 that power chord. So we have an E power chord, now it's a G power chord. Remember our root note is giving us the name of these chords. That's a E, this is a G. 10A, 12D, same thing. 1 E and a 2 E and a... So we have... Then move that chord flat a half step, I believe. Am I reading this right? We went up to a... Yeah, back a half step to 9A, 11D. Same count, same everything. And then move it another half step flat to 810. 
Another thing, separation from the palm muting into the power chord, watch what my first finger does. I'm going up and touching it, not pushing it down, but to make sure it doesn't bleed through. Even though it's palm muted, you still, still run that risk of it bleeding through. You want to keep that separation. Okay, the second half of this is now some inverted chords go 9A, 7D, and I'm using my third and first finger. Is that what I'm using there? You can use third and first or fourth and first, either one. Same thing though. Down, up, down, up. Right? So. Then move that a whole step flat to 7A, 5D. So we have. Now we move to page five. Um, then go 3A, 5D. The C power chord do the same thing though. And then I put a little uh, scale run at the end that goes. Okay, speed will come later. But, anyways, here's this last part low E string, open, two, three, five. And that's the fingering you want to use. You'll see that in your tabs. Palm mute. Alternate pick, starting with the downstroke. And then 2A, palm muted, and that's a downstroke, and then 5, 3, 2 on the E, up, down, up. So straight alternate picking. All right. Number 10, palm muting, songs, speed, power chords, eighth notes, Half notes, half notes, half notes. If you had the four counts in a measure, it would be one, two, three, four. It's the length of two quarter notes. You'd be letting it ring through. And this one goes seven A nine D. Two palm mutes off the open E string, and and we got double dots, so it's gonna go. Do the same thing. Move that power chord to a C which is 3rd fret A, 5th fret D. Move that a whole step sharp to 5, 7 AD. And then, I call these flatted power chords, go 1st finger 6A, pinky 9 D. Same thing there though. The opens are palm muted, the chords are not. You gotta remember that. Um, oh, I didn't finish it. We didn't get to the half notes yet. But here's what we just did. And then go back to 7A, 9D. We're going to go one, uh, hold on here. One and two and. So the power chord, instead of going, instead of going one and two and, we're going one and two and three and four and, gets a rest after the chord. That concept is the same thing with, as we move over to three, five AD. Same thing, five, seven AD. Same thing, six, nine AD. And the last number on this page is number 11, palm muting, songs, eighth notes, whole notes. This is in uh, the key of A minor and power chords. Let's play it first, and here's what we got. Open A, palm muted twice, bar the 5th fret with your first finger on the D and G. Instead of using two fingers, you can use two, but try both methods so you can get used to the barring. 
two open A's, palm muted. Hit the D and G at the same time. Two open A's. Hit the D and G. Open A once. D and G once. So one, two chord, one, two chord, one, one chord. Do the same thing, but go to the fourth fret. Same thing, but on the third fret. And then move it over to the second fret, and this is what a whole note is. It gets four counts. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And that's it for part two.